What up, fam? You know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's about time, it's the right time. It is the holiday season and I know everybody has been asking me, yo, what's some tech that you recommend that I get for Black Friday? I got you fam. A lot of y'all have been asking me what it is that I carry around every day from my mobile studio bag. So today is your lucky day. Man, I've been waiting to do this video. <sighs> today I'm gonna talk about what's in my bag, what's in my everyday carry. Let's jump into it right now. Okay, first things first, what I wanna do is talk about the bag itself. And the bag that I decided to go with is by Cocoon, um, Cocoon Innovations, and it's called the Slim Backpack. And here it is right here. It's very lightweight, very compact, very slim as you can see. Minimalistic, it's very comfortable to wear. It's nice and padded. It has the nice padded shoulder pads. It's made from like this almost carbon fiber look. Um, the texture is more like a ballistic nylon type feel and um, almost has like a glossy armor look to it. It's nice and modern and, and pretty good quality. So let's open it up and let's talk about what's inside. The thing that I find most special about this bag is that it has a lot of different storage compartments and a lot of different um, organization options. One of the things that Cocoon is famous for is their gridded system, which is uh, actually up front here um, before we get into that you have your nice um, you have a really deep pocket I'll probably go through this pocket last this is just you know miscellaneous stuff but you have really uh, deep pocket up front and this is the famous gridded system by Cocoon and I don't know if y'all can see that hold on let me, see. let me fix the camera I'll unzip it here you ready like I was saying, Cocoon is very uh, famous for their uh, very organized gridded system. Um, and what the gridded system is, is these elastic bands that um, that you can stick your tech into and um, they snap right back just like that. So I don't know if you can see that, but they're a, a bunch of uh, almost like rubber bands that snap right back into place once you place your um, your gadgets or your, your tech items in there. So here's where I store most of my things that I need to grab real quick, um, that I need to have easy access to. All I do is flip flip this bag, open, unzip it and flip this bag open. And um, that's right at the front of the backpack. Um, so right here I have a, a low pro a camera case for the camera that I'm filming on right now. Um, I have my actual GoPro here. I have my charger um, for my iPad. I have my charger for my iPad. And we're gonna go ahead and get into uh, the other stuff that I have here. So like I said, as you can see that this bag keeps everything in my bag really organized and really safe, really tight and compact in all one spot. Right here is my uh, mag filter that I usually put into, on, this is a um, ND filter, Vario ND uh, filter that I put on to my camera lens. This is a variable uh, ND filter that I put on my uh, camera lens so that I can cut out some sunlight. If I'm out and about and the sun is too bright and I wanna shoot something, um, I'll just use this. And you can see when I twist that, it gets brighter and darker. Um, yeah, it's like a sunglass. It's like sunglasses for, for your camera. Next up for accessories, I have my, uh, this is called the Polar Pro Tripler. This is one of my favorite camera accessories that I've ever invested in. This is a um, tripod, a selfie stick, and a handheld grip all in one. So it extends, it has the ball head joint on it. I don't go anywhere without this right here. So that's that. And over here, I have two uh, solid state drives, both from Samsung. Um, this is the Samsung T3 
and then I have my Samsung T1. I think this one is one terabyte, and this is uh, the 500, yep, 500 gigs solid state drive. I love, love, love these. Uh, you can edit video off of these. You can store all of your sound kits and libraries on this. These are super, super fast. Um, this one, this one has the uh, USB-C port and super, super fast speeds on these. Um, I don't go anywhere without these either. So that's those. Got to keep those in there with me. Next, I have the uh, RAV Power uh, File Hub Plus. Um, I use this to um, move files back and forth on like my hard drives from my iPad to my hard drive. And I'll do a review on this too. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do a review review on this this is uh, one of my favorite devices to use it also doubles as a battery bank 6700 milliamps uh, battery life on it um, but you can transfer files using uh, Wi-Fi back and forth through this and plug in your SD cards right into it and pull files off of that via Wi-Fi through your iPad or your iPhone or your Android phones um, you can also plug this straight up into a ethernet port and now this will give you a uh, wireless connection through that ether ethernet port right here and then you have a usb port right here that will give you uh power to your external hard drive so i'll use something like my samsung t1s or you know any external hard drives really to uh, connect this via wi-fi to my ipad pull files back and forth and like I said I'll do a review on that too here I have the uh, Mophie power um, this is not the power station this is the Mophie space station I got this um, on Amazon this also doubles as a battery bank um, I think it's like 5,000 milliamps or something like that and this has uh, 32 gigs of flash storage built into it they have a 64 gig version on, available on amazon and um, this is really good i put my um sample libraries on this and um yeah again uh this this right here i know i i, I have like a whole lot of batteries um but this is the anchor um this is an anchor battery bank um, it doubles actually, actually doubles as a wall charger. It has two par, uh, power uh, USB plugs out, and then it has the micro USB charging port in, so that you can charge it that way, or you can just hook this into the uh, a wall charger, and it'll charge itself like that. This is a must-have if you if you uh, gonna travel around with you know multiple devices. Must have. Here I have my uh, Zolo Liberties. Um, true wireless headphones. I use these sometimes as reference for um, you know my mixes just to see what uh, consumer grade um, headphones would sound like in my mix. These are really really good dope quality head, um, true wireless Bluetooth headphones. The case is uh, really tiny. Um, not as small as the Apple earpods airpods or whatever but um, they're pretty dope. I like them. Pretty good, good quality. I already showed you my uh, camera case uh, for for my um, my Panasonic LX10, which I'm filming on right now. Um, so this is a low pro camera case that I usually keep keep the camera in while it's in the bag, um, strapped in just like that. Um, underneath that part, I have my uh, passport uh, <laughs> right up underneath the camera. You never know when you need your passport. So, yeah. In this case, I have um, some really good in-ear um, monitors. These are from Audio Technica, and these are the ATH E40s. Um, they come in this really solid, rugged case. Um, these are actually in-ear monitors but I use them for uh, mixing and um, uh, I, I just use them for my everyday carry for uh, taking on the go. 
Um, I used to use, I used to carry around these. I used to carry these around. Um, these used to be my uh, go-to. I mean, they're still my go-to. And these are the ATH M50Xs by Audio Technica as well. They're just, um, they just began to be uh, too big and too, um, you know, clumsy to carry around. And I just wanted to go more minimalistic. So I decided to start carrying these in-ear monitors to uh, start making my beats um, on the iPad. So these are pretty dope. Make sure you check these out because these, these are excellent. They also come with uh, some extra ear tips. So if you're, your ears are kind of weird, then they have different options for you. Um, they come with like three different sets of ear tips, as well as a, um, a, a quarter inch um, headphone adapter too. This right here is one of my favorite things to use for my mobile production studio, um, my mobile workstation. Um, this is the uh, Shure MV88 Lightning Microphone. I use this to get a lot of sampling in. I, I do a lot of sampling from the iPhone and the iPad from this, and it's a professional quality, um, omnidirectional or directional microphone, depending on you know the settings that you use in the app. This plugs right into your iPhone. You can get some really dope professional sounds from this uh, microphone right here. Anything from recording acoustic guitars to recording vocals straight into it, voice memos, recording drum sounds or, you know, recording abstract sounds and manipulating them into your into your projects and and using them, maybe using them as drum sounds later. This is my, my one of my favorite go-to microphones for um, external recording, the Shure MV88. And on the inside of the bag, you have this really nice plush, almost like, I think it's like velvet texture on the inside, both on the laptop side, and then there's a um, tablet side here where you can fit like a, maybe a 10 inch tablet, um, maybe, maybe the 12 inch iPad will fit in here um, comfortably. But you can fit up to uh, a 15 inch laptop inside of this first part here. Um, what I have in this first part in the laptop compartment is actually the uh, X key Air. This is the 25 key version. I actually have this protective bag over for it too. Um, so separately, but it's worth it. This is my go-to MIDI keyboard. This is Bluetooth. I get a lot of work done with this. This is very tiny. Um, you can see it in comparison to my to my iPhone. It's very, very tiny. It's about the size of my 15-inch uh, laptop. It's just slightly bigger, which is why um, it's slightly longer than my 15-inch laptop, which is why I kind of um, put it in the back. And um, it's a, a, a bit of a squeeze. Um, with the with the protective case on to, to fit in the backpack, but it's not you know it's not too bad. But this is my go-to keyboard. I've done videos with this in there. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do a full review on this uh, CME Pro X Key Air. I love this thing. There's another pocket up front here where I keep this pouch, and this pouch is where I keep like some extra stuff. Um, and here I have my um, extra iPhone. Um, I use this iPhone. This is the iPhone 5S, I believe. I use this iPhone for uh, recording with the Shure MV88 microphone. I uh, just use this as an external audio recorder. And then back here I have some dongles and adapters, as well as some um, USB uh, storage sticks in here. Also, I have the Rode Video Mic Me in here that I use sometimes uh, for, you know, when I'm recording 
on my uh, cell phone when I'm vlogging on my cell phone or something like that plug this into my phone like that and this is this also gives me some really good audio quality as well some really good audio for vlogging with my uh, my cell phone and I have some extra um, SD cards in here <laughs> never have too many like I say can never have too many SD cards too much storage you gotta stay keep those on deck another thing that I have inside of this compartment here is the Roly blocks um, light pad this is a dope Bluetooth MIDI controller as well I also did a video on this controller too as well as the uh, the, app, the free app that comes with it for iPad and iPhone. And last but not least, I have my iPad Pro. This is the 10.5 inch uh, Wi-Fi 64 gig space gray. This is what I use every day to get my ideas out. If you haven't seen any of my previous videos on what I've been doing on the iPad, I uh, highly encourage you to consider checking those videos out so this is what I use for all my mobile production needs um, if you guys want me to uh, do a video on uh, what's on my iPad as far as music apps audio units that I use uh, let me know in the comments what you guys want to if you guys want me to do uh, what's on my iPad so wrapping that up coming back to the front I have a couple uh, pieces of microfiber cloth um, you always need some microfiber cloth, especially when you're dealing with these devices. You gotta keep that stuff clean. I got some uh, cleaning solution that I my Apple Pencil. You're gonna need the Apple Pencil, man. It's one of the best accessories that Apple has ever come out with until they came out with the new iPad Pro Pencil. And here I have a, um, a knockoff uh, camera connection kit. <laughs> I wanna eventually get the um, the one from Apple but until then you know I might get one on Black Friday the most is like $30 you know? uh, chapstick in here can't leave home without the chapstick you don't want your lips to be looking crazy data cables for my hard drives USB multi-port USB charging cables from uh, chiffon these are some lifesavers like seriously almost every connection imaginable you got the lightning, micro USB, USB-C, and even a mini USB version. Power up all your devices, man. Also, as an honorable mention, I want to throw in the uh, My Passport wireless SSD. I don't always carry this in my bag with me. I only carry this when I'm doing like video editing and stuff like that, but I usually throw this in that front pocket. Um, I'll do a, a review on this as well. This is an external hard drive that also um, transfers files via Wi-Fi, works, has integration with the iPad as far as like LumaFusion, um, video editing, and you can uh, browse any file type within the, um, within the included app on here. So this is a must have to out. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do a review on that. And that pretty much wraps up what's in my bag. Everything that I talked about will be in the description below. Um, either I'll, either I'm gonna list every item in the description or as a matter of fact, I'm gonna give you guys a direct link to mykit.com. You can find everything that I talked about in my kit at mykit.com slash Brandon Rico. This is my mobile studio bag, everyday carry. I hope I was helpful to you guys. I hope you found something that you can use inside of your workflow. Make sure you hit up this, that link this week and, and keep an eye on the sales just in case those prices dramatically drop. And even if you don't see anything on sale for Black Friday, hold on to that link. Come back to it for Cyber Monday. I know deals are gonna be flying left to right. Once again, thank you fam for rocking with the channel. Thank you for tuning in with me. This is Brandon Rico. This has been What's In My Bag 2018. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button fam. And if you like the videos like this, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Stay inspired, create some music, and everybody have a blessed, productive week. Once again, I'm Brandon Rico, signing out. Peace.